question number seven, and your teacher writes a little note that you need to know how to compose two functions and then find the domain of the composition. It says there's tons of examples on the previous review sheets, so practice that. And for this question, it says we're going to find the composite function and its domain uh, when f of x is equal to 1 over x squared and g of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3, we want to find f of g of x. So, anytime we see an x in our f of x equation, we're going to plug in g of x. So this will give us f of g of x is equal to 1 over square root of x plus 3 quantity squared. So, um, something that we need to do first, uh, before you do anything, don't square it, don't do anything, you look at this function and you think about the domain. And here, underneath the square root, we have x plus 3. And not only because it's in the denominator, we know that that can't equal 0, but it, we also know that x plus 3 cannot be less than 0, because we can't take the square root of a negative. So, x plus 3 has to be greater than 0. So, we just get that x has to be greater than negative 3. And that's our domain. And then, to, um, then to actually find the composite function, we go ahead and we do square it until you get y over x plus 3. So see, if we had squared it before, we would have 1 over x plus 3, we'd set the bottom equal to 0, and we'd say, okay, well, x can't equal 3, negative 3. But because it's a composite function, x can also equal anything less than negative 3. So um, that's why you always, you plug it in first g of x, you plug it in, but then you have to find the domain before you do anything to it. And so that's the answer for this question.